Hi, do you want to know what is the most reliable VPN? Then watch this short video to the end. In it, I will tell you about my favorite service in the best VPN category. It's a high-quality VPN that exceeded my expectations on everything from platform and privacy support to ease of use, unblocking capabilities, and great support. I will tell you a few useful life hacks that you may find useful. Do not forget to subscribe and like the channel. Take a good look at the screen. Let's start. iVPN is a privacy-focused VPN service. It argues that it is all about security and anonymity with no logs and no leaks VPN. iVPN is a relatively small but very transparent company registered in Gibraltar. There are undoubtedly faster VPNs than iVPNs, but that doesn't mean iVPNs are slow. Unsurprisingly, it's the most reliable on local connections, but iVPN offers decent speeds when connecting overseas. If you live in Africa, South America, most of Australia or Asia, iVPN is not for you. This is because its 40 servers are heavily concentrated in the northern half of the globe, especially in Western Europe and North America. iVPN only offers one server in South America, one server in Australia and three servers in East Asia. On the other hand, if you live in the US, you have many options as iVPN has 12 city-level VPN server locations from coast to coast. Even so, however, the number of individual servers distributed over the network is so small that speed fluctuations can occur in the most popular locations. An iVPN support agent said there are 3 to 5 IP addresses per server, another very small Small number. Netflix is by far the most popular streaming service in the US, so at least iVPN gets the most important part right. But if you want to watch anything else, you'll need to look at another VPN. iVPN is much better for torrenting than streaming. You can use torrents for free with one exception. iVPN does not allow torrenting or P2P use on its servers in the United States. This is because iVPN reports that it is receiving a large number of DMCA notifications. He asks users to refrain from torrenting of servers in the US, including double connections that use the US exit node. Despite China's tough crackdown on VPN providers, iVPN can be a worthy choice to use in the country. The support team informed me that many are successfully using the OBFS proxy tool, which masks VPN traffic, making it normal for sensors and therefore allowing you to access blocked content. The iVPN side is also not blocked in China, which is a plus. However, there is no guarantee that iVPN will work and the OBFS proxy tool is not available on either Android or iOS devices. There are other vendors who provide a more robust and comprehensive solution. Astral is one of our favorites. iVPN offers convenient custom apps for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS and Android, which is great for VPN newbies. The provider's generous limit of 5 concurrent connections means you can protect your family's devices as well as your own. You can also install the VPN on several different compatible routers, including DDWRT, PFSense and Tomato, using the provider's handy setup guides. If you are not comfortable with the manual configuration item, you can also buy pre-configured routers through iVPN's partnerships with Flash Routers and Wilfo. If you want to use iVPN with your game consoles and streaming devices like the Amazon Fire TV Stick or Xbox, you have several options. The easiest is to manually set up a supported router or buy one with VPN software already installed as this will protect all connected devices in your home. The iVPN website has a complete setup guide. You can also manually configure some devices using the OpenVPN software, but iVPN currently only offers guides for Kodi and Amazon Fire TV Stick. Unlike some of our top providers, iVPN does not offer any browser extensions. iVPN is great for security, offering strong encryption and many additional security features. The iVPN security audit was conducted by the renowned German cybersecurity company Cure53, which spent a total of 21 days evaluating the security protocols that iVPN uses. A total of 9 iVPN security and encryption issues were identified during the audit, each of which has now been fixed and resolved. iVPN made a full report publicly available and published it on the internet. 
iVPN applications provide four protocols to choose from, OpenVPN, WireGuard, IPsec, and IKE version 2. The latter of two requires some manual configuration, but you don't need to worry about that. OpenVPN is our preferred protocol anyway. Whichever protocol you use, iVPN performs encryption using the unbreakable AES-256 cipher. The iVPN firewall feature is a must-have tool that blocks all your web traffic if the VPN connection is interrupted for any reason. In addition to its own DNS servers that prevent your IP address from being disclosed to third parties, iVPN also provides protection against DNS and IPv6 leaks as well as blocking online ads and trackers. iVPN MultiHop offers an extra layer of security by redirecting your connection through multiple servers in different countries. This means that even if the exit server is compromised, your online activity will remain private. Also, a nice touch is that the Android app allows for split tunneling so you can route sensitive apps over the VPN and others over a shared internet connection while maintaining performance. As part of its renewed commitment to privacy, security and transparency, iVPN has published its code on GitHub, becoming one of the very few VPNs with open source applications. It simply means that iVPN is opening up to a development model in which everyone can contribute to its software and applications. With open source, iVPN benefits from the security and bug checking of the broader community, allowing more potential problems to be detected and resolved. How to install and configure iVPN? Download the related software from the website, follow the prompts of the installation wizard, accept the license agreement and click install. Complete the setup by clicking finish. Finally, log into your account using the username from the confirmation email. This is the main application screen including the connect button, server location and switch. Click the circle in the center to connect. It will flash blue and indicate a disconnection. If disconnected, click the server location to see a complete list of servers. Click the gear icon in the lower left corner to access the general setting. Click connect at the top of the settings menu to switch between UDP and TCP and choose your preferred port. Click Firewall at the top of the settings menu to select your firewall settings. It takes minutes from buying a VPN to connecting securely to one of the iVPN servers, which requires minimal effort and very little technical knowledge. If you're stuck installing iVPN on devices without its own app, its website offers easy step-by-step -step guides to help you. The NoFuss iVPN home screen has a large connect button and your chosen server location below it. In the settings menu, you can select the emergency switch settings switch between UDP and TCP and select your preferred port. There's also a handy section for configuring OpenVPN settings, perfect for more tech-savvy users. iVPN support agents respond quickly and pleasantly, volunteering useful information where possible, provided that the service is online when you need it. Even if the support team doesn't have the answers, you can find a lot of useful and well-presented information in the iVPN knowledge base. iVPN recently updated their data plan, making it a more affordable and smarter VPN option. iVPN has now split its VPN options into two different tiers, iVPN Standard and iVPN Pro. The $4 per month price difference means that standard tier does not support multi-tenant VPN or port forwarding. It also only allows two simultaneous connections. However, if you're just diving into the VPN world, a monthly fee of just $6 per month for the standard tier is a great option. It's also gratifying to see iVPN strengthen VPN users with advanced features available at the pro level as well. iVPN offers both a 3-day free trial and a 7-day money-back guarantee, which means you can test the VPN thoroughly before moving on to a paid subscription. However, a warning, the free trial of VPN requires you to enter your billing information and you will be automatically charged unless you cancel within 3 days. However, the 7 day money back guarantee is truly no questions asked and you will be automatically refunded upon request for cancellation. iVPN may also extend the return period to 30 days in exceptional circumstances, for example if you have technical problems, but this is not guaranteed. iVPN accepts common payment methods including most credit and debit cards and PayPal. You also have the option to buy with Bitcoin, but this is the only cryptocurrency accepted. There are no international options like Alipay or UnionPay. iVPN is one of the few providers that gives you the ability to pay in cash for reasons of anonymity, which we really like. iVPN accepts US dollars, euros and British pounds, but processing can take up to 10 days and you need to subscribe to an annual subscription to do so.